Hey everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the Avogadro's number, which is ultimately related to the mole. And now this particular Avogadro's number, which is used to calculate the number of uh, molecules, number of atoms, number of uh, like representative particles in a particular substance, in a particular matter. So guys, over here in this video, we will see the Avogadro's hypothesis, Avogadro's law which relates to your particular number of that uh, molecules and to the volume of your particular uh, gas basically the number of molecules in gas and uh, your volume of the gas so guys welcome back to the another video of ingenious academy myself narendra and you are watching the playlist of thermodynamics so guys in this playlist we'll check out the all the like different gas laws we will see the different like the derivations also we see the different like working of the different uh, like uh, equipments over here in this playlist so guys please watch my video till the end and guys please subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy guys so guys let's begin with today's topic that is of avogadro's hypothesis avogadro's law basically So guys, in our previous videos of uh, Boyle's law and Charles law, Gay-Lussac's law, we are talking about the pressure, volume and temperature. But over here, in case of gases, there is also a fourth variable that we have seen in our previous video that is of Avogadro's number that is nothing but the amount of gas or we can call it as the amount of particular amount of number of molecules number of atoms which is present in the gas so guys over here this particular fourth variable comes up that is nothing but the n which is called as this uh, amount of gas or we can call it as the amount of molecules which is present in that gas so guys in 1811 this Emilio Avogadro discovered a law which relates to the your uh, vo volume and uh, the amount of the gas which relates the volume and the amount of the gas he states that he states that if suppose pressure and temperature for a particular gas kept constant so in that condition the volume is directly proportional to your amount of the gas which is called as n over here so that's why your uh, like mathematical e uh, expression becomes your v is directly proportional to n so this is the mathematical uh, representation under the condition of this pressure kept constant and the temperature kept constant so guys over here let me give an example suppose i am having a balloon which is having a volume v1 and uh, oxygen is uh, filled filled in that particular balloon so which is having a, a volume that is v1 Suppose I'm having the another balloon, which is also having the same volume that is of the nitrogen balloon, let's say. So this uh, volume in this case, both the cases are same. That is the, in case of oxygen, volume is V, V1 in case of nitrogen, also volume is same. So under the, like the constant pressure and under the constant temperature, this particular Avogadro's law represents that under this constant pressure and constant temperature, the amount of the gases the amount of this molecules of oxygen is equals to the uh, same number of molecules of this nitrogen so that's why over here the number of moles which contains in that particular oxygen balloon it will be same as that of the number of moles to that of your this nitrogen so guys over here this is nothing but the, this is nothing but the uh, avogadro's hypothesis he he says that this volume is directly proportional to a number of molecules or else the total amount of the gas which is contained in a particular uh, which is amount of the gas basically so over here that is v is directly proportional to n so guys over here the you know the expression becomes v divided by n is equals to k so over here v is the volume uh, n is the number of uh, moles in the gas or we can call it as the amount of the gas and k is nothing but your uh, constant k is nothing but your proportionality constant over here so guys uh, as we have seen in case of your Boyle's law in case of Charles law you know there are the like this comparison between the 
two condition two stages so over here this is also we can say that you know suppose i'm having a, a, a balloon which is having a initial volume v1 and initial number of uh, number of amount of the gas is n1 suppose i am filling uh, suppose i am increasing the amount of the gas it means also the volume also increases so that's why this particular this is also this uh, scenario we can call it as so guys over here in this case if the number of the gas increase the volume of the gas also increase the balloon will expand over here so over here the particular formula becomes v1 by n1 is equals to v2 by n2 is equals to k so guys over here in this case uh, that is v1 by n1 is equals to v2 by n2 so that by using these equations we can calculate the number of moles we can calculate the volume over here so guys that was basically a simple avogadro's law avogadro's hypothesis i hope you understood this simple law simple avogadro's hypothesis so guys if you still having any doubts you can comment below also guys if you like my video please do hit like and guys please share all my videos to your friends your family your social networks so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy